Hello YouTube, let's get straight into this. So this is my process for exporting transparent GIFs or GIFs from Toon Boom Harmony. Now the first thing to note is that you cannot do it natively within Toon Boom Harmony itself. You will need an intermediary piece of software, or in other words a middleman piece of software, to convert a PNG sequence from Harmony into a transparent GIF. In this case I will be using Photoshop. If you are using Harmony Essentials or Advanced you need to go to File, Export, Images. Most of this is fine, it's going to be exporting your project to your project folder within the frames folder. Set your file type to PNG and set your colour mode to colour with transparency. We can leave our colour depth at 8 bits per channel because GIF only has a limited colour range anyways. Finally we can select the frames you want to render, in this case all of them, and click OK. This will start rendering the files into the frames folder, as you can see that's doing that now. As you can see, it's rendered it all within the project folder within the frames folder. If we're using Harmony Premium, it's slightly more complicated. We first have to set our file type within our right node. Within our render view, find the right node, right click, layer properties. Within our right properties, we need to set our drawing type to PNG4. This is a PNG 8 bits per channel with the alpha channel. Then we can close this and go file, export, render right nodes, Again, render every frame and click OK. As you can see, it's rendering the files again. So now, from whichever version you're using, you go to your frames folder and as you can see, you should have a bunch of PNG files. You might also find that you have files with the prefix preview, such as this, but just ignore these as Photoshop is smart enough not to load these into the sequence as it has a different prefix. Next up is importing that into Photoshop. So go to Photoshop, go File, open and find the folder that you've exported to. Click the first frame and click image sequence. So set your frame rate, in this case 24 FPS and click OK. And you should get this, you see you have an image with transparency. You'll see there's no timeline, so to make sure it's playing go window, timeline and scrub along just to make sure the animation plays. So as you can see this works. File, export, save for web legacy and this will open up a new window. Within here we have a lot of settings so the first thing I like to change is our image size in this case I'm going to reduce it to 480p just so it's a smaller resolution and smaller file size. Make sure our format is GIF and make sure transparency is selected. This option here, this first drop down, is the color reduction algorithm so this tells Photoshop what colors to use. So we have a few different settings here there isn't a hard and fast rule, so have a switch around and see what works. I pick Adaptive for this project. The option below this, the one that is currently labelled with Pattern, tells it how to affect Divering. So for this project, I choose Pattern still. Again, have a switch around to see what works. Next to it is our Colours dropdown. This is usually begins at 256. That's the maximum possible colour information. Or you can lower it to suit your own needs. In this case, I found that 64 is just enough to make sure that the image looks exactly the same but uses less file size. The most important option to making sure of transparent GIF looks good is this matte option here. This is the colour that defines what edges should look like going from colour to nothing. I have a few options here, I can either set it to black as my character outline is black or I can set it to none and it will instead not have any matte. If I set it to red you can see what this does. As you can see our outline between where it goes from colour to nothing is red. So in this case I can either set it to black to match our character outline or I can set it to none. Again use your own discretion here. There is also transparency diver and this affects how this matte, that affects how the matte is generated. So if I select red again you can see this changes how the transparency is generated. I like to leave it on no transparency diver and no matte. There's also a few other options such as interlacing and web snap or converting to sRGB but we can but we can ignore those. There's only a final few options that we care about. We can set it to loop via this option here so we can set it to forever and this will play a loop and then we can press play to see how this looks. I'm happy that with that so we click save, export this and finally we have our file right here. As you can see, that's transparent there, because there's no white around the edges. We then preview our file to make sure it works. In this case, uh, Internet Explorer will, won't have a background for this. Some web browsers will show a background, so if you're not sure whether it's working, bring your image back into Photoshop 
and it should have a transparent background still. So now we've confirmed the file plays, we can upload it to everywhere and rejoice. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you do all that YouTube stuff. Give a like, subscribe, etc, etc. And I'll see you in the next one.